Tonight we are going to look at how to read and write decimals. Today's objective, you will learn how to read and write decimals. We are going to start this off by watching a YouTube video on the basics of reading and writing decimals. So sit back and relax, enjoy, but pay close attention on to what is being said on the video. Here we go. When you think about the word decimal, you might think about a dot. This dot is called a decimal point, and it separates parts of a whole number from the whole number. These parts are called decimals. A decimal is a number less than one. Whole numbers, also called units, are greater than or equal to one. The decimal point basically signifies AND as a way to separate these two different kinds of numbers. Decimals are found to the right of the decimal point, and units are found to the left. If you want to write out four whole units and 12 decimal parts, it would look like this. You can read this as 4.12, or as 4 and 12 one hundredths. The decimal number system is based on preceding powers of 10. This means it's a series of numbers where each number is 10 times bigger or smaller than the last. If we move to the left of the decimal point, each position is 10 times bigger. If we move to the right, each position is 10 times smaller. When we encounter decimals in everyday life, from money to distance to time, we usually only take into account the tenths and hundredths place values. And now you know how to work with decimals. Like what you just saw? Rate it. Add a comment. Subscribe to our channel. The freedom to learn. What you want, when you want. Absolutely free. GCFLearnFree.org So that was really, I think, a great video as far as how to read and write decimals. So now we are going to practice. And we're going to try reading some decimals. So remember, this is the whole part of the number. It's to the left of the decimal point. Here's the decimal point. And here is what's after the whole number. And tonight we're just going to go into... Um, up to thousands. So this is tenths, hundredths, and thousands. And this is the tens column and the ones column. So I'm going to write a couple of decimals and I'm going to have you read them out loud and then I'm going to read them out loud and see how you have done. Here's the number. You read it out loud. And now I'm going to read it out loud. It's 75 and 168 thousandths. How did you do? Let's try another one. So let me erase this. This one I'm not going to do in the tens column. I'm just going to do in the ones column. So here's the number, and here we go. Okay, you read that, read it out loud, and now I'm going to read it out loud. Seven 
and 319, and since it's in this column, it's thousandths. Let's do another one. Okay. And if I just do this, you're just going to read it to right here. So read it out loud. And here I go. It's 55 and 7 tenths because it's in the tenths column. And we'll do one last one. Okay, here's the last one for reading them. Let's do mm. All right, here we go. It's four and six hundred fifty seven thousandths. And we'll have lots of practice with this at school. Okay, so now we've read decimals. Now let's look at writing decimals. So I'm going to say a couple decimals, and I want you to write them down on a piece of paper. How would you write six and eight tenths? Six and eight tenths. So you should have written it down so it looks like this. Six and eight tenths. So it should be six decimal point eight. Let's try another one. You're going to write down 75 and 310 thousandths. 75 and 310 thousandths. 75 and 310 thousandths. So this is what it should look like. 75 and 310 thousandths, because it's right above the thousandths. Let's do one more. This is going to be kind of a tricky one. 8 and 7 hundredths. 8 and seven hundredths. Eight and seven hundredths. So you're going to do the eight. This is the and sign. I'm not going to put the seven here because this is the tenth, so I'm going to put a zero here. And then I'm going to put it right above the hundredths column. So eight and seven hundredths. move on. So it's quiz time. How would you write seven and five tenths using numbers? Would you do A, B, C, or D? And I'll read through these and then you can pause the video and then you can answer the quiz and I'll have it linked for you. How would you write 16 and 27 hundredths? That's number two. Number three, Write out the following decimal, 5 and 61 hundredths. Ooh, I shouldn't say, give you the clue on that one. Number 4, you're going to read this, read the number, and figure out which one of these is written out. And number 5, I want you to answer, do you understand, totally get it, you don't really get it, or you, have, you just don't get it at all? And you'll link that to the quiz. Okay? 
And that's it. Oops, there's one more thing before I go. In your notebook, write down any questions that you have regarding this lesson, okay? And we can answer them tomorrow. So thanks for listening and have a good night. Bye.